Hi. Klopp said that uh, that you never surrender. One of the biggest qualities of Atletico, according to Klopp yesterday, was you never surrender. I think that we have various situations to. We need to point out a couple of things. The 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 uh, f the best the best opponent that we've played against in my eight years at the club. Huge intensity. Great centres, huge high pressure up the field. It worked really hard against us. The way that they brought on the other midfielders, how they joined the attack. We knew that this game was going to be. We we're going to find things. It was going to be difficult to break their lines. We wanted to. We wanted to try with play with a very kind of narrow line. It was difficult for us. We found it hard. Obviously, it was hard to have any of the ball, and we we couldn't really create any danger down there. Right? We didn't change. We didn't change our plan at all throughout. When we scored, I think I think we carried on even though we were one nil down in the same style. Llorente came on for to give me a little bit more. Uh, strength and a few, bit more legs up front. Diego had given everything he had. He was tired. He'd been running a lot. I needed. We, we needed people who could maybe break through their lines a little bit. So that's why I saw that also that Llorente could play a defensive role as well. He can drop in where he needs to, and he's got a great shot on him. And he can play. He can play the ball forward in the final third of the field as well. The game at the end. I think we started. Uh, I think when the fans started to sing, we started to improve, and we felt close to the team. Uh, we could hear them driving us on. We started to win one or two balls further up the field, and we could get out of our own third, our own half, a little bit more. Joao. Started to bring people into his left. Um, they were still hurting us in our area, and as you were explaining before, you, a team, a team, we never give up. We never de deviated from our plan of attack. They carried out their orders tacitly. Um, I gave gave them strength, the best I can. Uh, space started to open up a little bit more in extra time, and this this will go down in history of our fans of our club. It fills us with pride as a club. One one more time in the top eight teams of Europe. I heard you say it on TV that Barca have Messi, and you have Oblak. I wanted to ask if if is Oblak your Messi, and is he one of many who played well tonight? I think it's clear that stop every every situation, every shot and header that he had today. It, it was tough. It was tough. Uh, we made it hard for their strikers to shoot as well. He is one of the best keepers in the world, obviously. As I said, I said recently, he he saves games for me. Uh, obviously, Messi, Messi can win games for you up front, but in in the goal, people can win game for you as well, and Oblak does that. Obviously, Oblak, when we play in important games like this, uh, the fans, our fans, will remember this and his performance for a long time. Uh, Klopp said a few minutes ago, doesn't understand how you play. But we say he said that you were deserved winners. Anybody who doesn't agree with that wouldn't have seen the game. We came here to win. I respect his identity, the, the quality of footballers that, that, that we have. We, we we try and exploit deficiencies in the opposition. That's all we try and do. We try and win. One of your mottos. Uh, is never stop believing is one of your mottos we, 
Was that belief when you went 1-0 down here? Was that the time to bring that motto into play? I think we, di we displayed that, we demonstrated that. Many times we play games, we've had lots of chances. We, we shot seven times against Seville and couldn't score more than twice. Today, we hardly had any shots and we scored twice, three times. I think um, in Astana, we, we, we were knocked out of the Champions League. Um, you know, you can have lots of chances and miss. You can have few chances and score. There is no certainty in football. We, all, we can all play well, we can all play bad. The, th the key is to try and understand the deficiencies and the defects of your opposition, the weaknesses. There's nothing precise in that. Are you worried that, that they might cancel the whole season, uh, given that Juventus... No, because this is a subject which... Uh, world health is important. We hope that that gets resolved in the best way. What I, what I think is fair, and I, uh, and I always say to the wafer when the managers get together and coaches to speak about football generally, um, today is unjust. I'll explain why. Because the 30, the 30 minutes of extra time to score three goals, Liverpool never had that. And I've always been saying this for a long time. We had 30 more minutes to score an away goal. So for Liverpool, that's not fair. Because our goals obviously count for more when it's away. For now, uh, it, it favoured us today, but it might not favour us. It might, it might go against us in future. Liverpool had 30 minutes less, if you like, to score an away goal.